and hip bones. When seals move around on land, they kind of have to flop around on their bellies like an inchworm, and their rear flippers will always be behind them, never tuck underneath them. So there you have it, Katie. It's proving you wrong. You're definitely not a seal. But you know what? You guessed walrus and then seal. So those are both really, really, really good close guesses. So quite an idea. How about before you take your next guess, because I will give you another shot, why don't you take a good long moment to yourself and think things over? <laughs> Katie, what do you have for us this time? <laughs> Captain, we can't hear her whispering from here. You're going to have to share her secret. Excellent. Oh, a trainer. Oh, my goodness. Well, uh, now your guesses are just getting silly because there's no way that you're a trainer. But you know what? I will humor you. But see, this whole time, guys, I have been proving Katie wrong. So I am now going to give her the opportunity to prove me wrong. Now, Katie, if you're so sure that you're a trainer, why don't you show our friends here how we train? Now, by now, you guys know that we use positive reinforcement to train our animals, which basically means that when we do, they do a good job, we give them something they love as a reward, such as a fish. So, Katie, if you're the trainer, that means Catherine is your feline. What would you give her for doing a good job? <laughs> All right, Katie, I'll give that one to you. It's pretty good. Because trainers do love sea lion kisses, as fishy as they may be. But Katie, I gotta tell you something. Catherine is not perfect. And she is bound to make a mistake every once in a while. So tell me, what do trainers